And the way that you all fight for working people means working people will fight for you. Against any power, no amount of money, no amount of stature, no amount of, of office or title can overcome the power of an ethical, strong, grassroots, democratic union. One like yours that provides a federal, affordable public service unlike any other scene in the world. And so where do we start? And it starts with the brass tacks. A lot of times people will say, Congresswoman, what do we do in this moment? And they think it's some big grand solution, but it's always about the fundamentals. The fundamentals is how we accomplish the impossible. Just a few years ago when we unseated a 20 term incumbent, outspent 10 to one, I had no money, no political connections, none of that. How did we win? Nothing grand, the fundamentals. Knocking on doors, talking to people, having conversations, understanding that the first and primary work is expansion. And you all have already started that process. There was a pledge drive to ex and, a, and a recruitment drive in this union to add 5,000 workers. You all accomplished that in about four weeks. Four weeks. Watch you work. So the first thing that we need to do is start joining our collective action teams right here in APWU and making sure that we start having conversations with workers who may not be union and telling them about the benefits and telling them about the community and the importance and the solidarity and the, and the power of collective action. Talk to your kids about why you're in a union. It's really incredibly important because there is power in a union. We all also are in the work of protecting our democracy. You all and your support for the For the People Act has been incredibly important in making sure that we build momentum in combating gerrymandering, ending the filibuster, and expanding the right to vote. The, and, and also when it comes to uh, combating Combating poverty in the United States. As Danny Glover said here a few years ago, quoting himself Martin Luther King, the first and greatest anti-poverty program is a union. And expanding union participation is incredibly important to elevating the dignity of all people in the United States. We are at a critical crossroads of theocracy and fascism and the identities and solidarity across difference is what is going to save us. This isn't about ignoring our differences, it is about honoring them, celebrating them, cherishing them, and cherishing one another as equal. That means fighting for our white working class brothers and sisters. That means fighting for our black working class brothers and sisters it, 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 when their right to vote is under attack. That means fighting for the right to choice and abortion and health care. That means combating white supremacy where we see it. That means speaking up, speaking out, being in the streets, speaking to one another, because democracy is not just about elections. It is about the full, equal, and dignified participation in a free society, not just electorally, but economically, culturally, and civically. That is what democracy is all about. Democracy is not just about election day. It's about your union hall. It's about your conversations. It's about petitions. And it's about what we're able to pass. And that's why you all are at the forefront and the tip of the spear of American democracy, this union.